I spent five years working in a white collar office environment where guns were not a common topic of conversation. However, guns would come up when there was a criminal shooting spree in the news. Some of my colleagues would say things like, guns are terrible, or we need to get rid of all guns in our country. It's in this moment where I had to make a decision, stand up for myself and my right to own firearms, and make a clear distinction between law-abiding gun owners and the criminals, or simply stay quiet. Most of my colleagues had no idea that shooting guns was a hobby of mine. I could expose myself as a gun owner and risk scaring my colleagues, or worse, those scared employees reporting me to HR. Thankfully, my colleagues were rational, curious individuals who were interested in learning more. For those of you with less tolerant colleagues, I'm not saying that speaking out is always the right or best thing to do, but be cognizant of how much of a positive contribution you can make to the national dialogue by simply being who you are. Staying quiet empowers those who shame others. We have to be strong and engage these shamers in a respectful manner. Part of that starts with understanding what drives shamers to shame others. A big part of it is fear and ignorance. We fear what we do not understand. It's just human nature. I am not ashamed of being a gun owner, just like I'm not ashamed for being Asian or for being gay or for being any of the other things I happen to be. There are plenty of people who try to shame and blame responsible gun owners every time there's some insane person who decides to commit a crime with a gun. I simply will not give up my Second Amendment rights for the actions of a few crazy people. Stand for something or fall for anything.